today na naman sa ating lahat for today for our session we are going to learn about order of operations so dahil ito ay introduction pa lang so let's have the basics and simple examples okay let's go what is order of operations okay what is order of operations order of operations states the sequence in which the multiple operations in an expression should be solved. This is a universal rule in answering series of operations. So itong order of operations, ito ang ginagamit natin para magsagot ng series of operations. So series of operations refers to a number problem that involves more than one mathematical operation. Okay? So, ang series of operations, makakita tayo rito na pinagsama-sama sa isang problem. Merong addition, may subtraction, may multiplication, may division, merong uh, parenthesis, o okay, may nakagroup, merong, meron din kasama din dyan ang ating mga exponents. Okay? So, let's have the PEMDAS rule. What is PEMDAS rule? PEMDAS rule, this is a way for us to remember the order of the operations. So, we use the acronym PEMDAS, wherein each letter stands for a mathematical operation. P stands for parenthesis. E stands for exponents. MD stands for multiplication division. And AS stands for addition subtraction. Okay. Remember... Multiplication division, you can combine that. Pwede mo siyang pagsamahin. Na pag, pwede mo pagsabayin ang kanilang operation and you do it from left to right. Same as true with our addition subtraction. So in case na una ang division kaysa multiplication, pwede na rin yun. Pwede mo siyang unahin kaysa multiplication. Actually, magpartner yan. Magpartner din ang addition subtraction. As we go on, Sa ating mga examples ay makikita natin ang proof kung bakit ganon. Next, why follow PEMDAS? Let us give an example here. Okay, sa ating nandito, sa ating left side ng screen natin, this one is we solve this using solution from left to right. Okay? We have the same problems here. We have the same given, pero as you notice, nung tayo ay nag-solve from left to right, at saka yung nag-solve tayo ng PEMDAS rule, magkaiba yung sagot. When we answered from left to right, the answer was 68. And we answer, when we answered using PEMDAS, ang naging sagot natin ay 38. And this is such a big difference. Okay? So, we must always follow the PEMDAS rule. So we have said the PEMDAS rule, the order of operations is a universal rule. Okay, let's have example number one. On our left side of the screen, you can see here our order of operation. Okay, parenthesis, exponents, the number three, multiplication division, number four, addition and subtraction. Okay, we have here 12 plus 2 times 2 minus 4. Okay? So the first thing to do, okay, wala naman tayong parenthesis. Next, wala naman tayong exponent dito. Pero meron na tayong multiplication. So, the first thing to do is to multiply. So, for, for this problem, ang ating multiplication is 2 times 2. So, as you notice, naka-color red siya. So, ibig sabihin yan yung sasagutin natin for this one. So, that makes it now, yung 2 times 2 naging 4. Then, we just copied yung mga numbers na hindi mo na natin isusolve. So, 2 times 2, this one now is 4. Next, ginawa ng red lahat dahil pwede na siyang idiretso. Kasi sabi sa ating number 4, step number 4 sa addition subtraction, you just do it from left to right. So, that is now 12 plus 4, that is 16, minus 4, and the answer is 12. So, therefore, our final answer is 12. Let's have sample problem number 2. 10 squared plus 6 times 3 minus 20 divided by 2. 
Okay? First thing to do, okay, wala tayong parenthesis, pero meron na tayong exponent. Kaya, ito yung unahin natin, exponent. 10 squared or 10 raised to 2. 10 raised to 2 is equal to 100. Then, we just copy yung mga numbers or operations na hindi pa natin isusolve. Next, dito sa linyang ito, sa ating row na ito, ay nag-color red na tayo sa 6 times 3 at saka 20 divided by 2. Okay? So, therefore, when we answer 6 times 3 at saka 20 divided by 2, yung 6 times 3, it became 18 and yung 20 divided by 2, it became 10. So, from here on, pwede na natin sagutin, okay, addition and subtraction, so 100 plus 18 equals 118 minus 10 is equal to 108. Okay? Let's have example number 3. Let's natin Example number 3. 4 raised to 3 divided by, okay, we have quantity. Okay, we say quantity dito sa group natin na ito or parenthesis. Quantity 6 plus 2 minus 4 times 2. Okay? So, the first thing to do, parenthesis. Okay? Kaya nag-red tayo sa ating parenthesis. 6 plus 2, that makes it 8. Okay? So, we just copy here yung mga hindi natin sinagot. Next, the first, the, the next thing to do is our exponents. Okay? 4 raised to 3 is equal to 64. Okay? So, kinopya pa rin natin yun. Ngayon, nilagyan na natin ng red yung 64 divided by 8 tsaka 4 times 2. 64 divided by 8, that's 8. 4 times 2, that's 8. Kaya, ayan na yung sagot natin. Now, we subtract 8 minus 8 and our answer will be 0. Okay, the final answer now is 0. And let's have the last example. Quantity, 60 minus 2 times 3. Quantity, minus 3 raised to 2 times 5 plus 10. Pansin niyo sa ating parenthesis, meron din more than one operation. Okay? So, pag more than one operation sa ating parenthesis, i-apply mo ulit yung pentas. For this matter, meron tayong 2 times 3. So, that makes it 2 times 3 is now equal to 6. So, from here on, pwede na natin sagutin yung nasa parenthesis natin na 60 minus 6 which is equal to 54. Ngayon, kukopyahin pa rin natin yung ating mga numbers na hindi pa natin sinolve. So, that makes it now, okay, ang next natin ay ang ating exponent. 3 raised to 2. 3 to the second power. And that is now, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Okay? So, ito na yung ating problem. And, ang ating next solution will be for our multiplication. Multiplication, we have 9 times 5. That is equal to 45. Now, we can now solve for the final answer using this. So, we solve from left to right. Okay? Since yan ay subtraction at addition na lang na iwan, we solve from left to right. 54 minus 45, that is 9, plus 10. And our final answer is 19. Yo! Okay? To summarize it up, always follow the pendulum rule. This rule it stands for parenthesis, exponents, multiplication, and division. Okay, always remember, pwede siyang pagsamahin, multiplication and division, and you do it from left to right. And finally, addition and subtraction from left to right, whichever comes first. Okay, yun lang. Maraming salamat. Happy learning. God bless us all. Ingat kayo lagi. God bless. Bye-bye.